Hey people, it's a Pilgrim, and welcome to Art Genesis Part 2, finally. I think they've done a superb job with the map. It's just fast, isn't it? Not too sure if it's on the same power as Ragnarok, but it feels like it. I like the biome setup and the transition to the harder areas as well. I think the asteroid belt between the biomes is an amazing idea. That's really creative. I'm always on the lookout for cool building spots. So for this video, I found five places to set up your first base with taming resources and game progression in mind. Okay, number one, we've got River Rock Expanse. If you spawn it in around Shade, uh, that'll be like one of the easy areas. You'll start off on this side of the map, just above the ridge in the center, which is Lookout Ridge. That's about where you are. There's the cards. So on this part, what I thought was, there's a rocky outcrop here, and the stone all the way around, it's quite hard to you know get up. You, you won't get any dinosaurs sort of coming into the base or anything up them walls so you won't need any sort of walls around your base to defend it there's two ramps coming down from there that you can gate off if you need to and then the rest of the top of the hill you could use to build your first base on you've got all the resources you need around there and all the first early teams when you cross the river to this side then you start getting more difficult sort of uh, dinosaurs to deal with You've got like T-Rexes, uh, there's hyenas, uh, what else did I see, there's a few raptors around and things. There's a T-Rex down there. But what I liked about this is if you start off on that side of the river, get everything prepared, get your little base set up, you can come over here and then you can tame mammoths, you can tame Dodicarus, you can tame Ankylosaurus. And as you progress up the side of this mountain, you tame the more difficult dinosaurs, then you've got all your metal nodes on the left there, and metal nodes on the right. So it's sort of a good progression from that little spot to get started, cross the river, and then sort of progress up the mountain as you need to collect the resources. And the dinosaurs are there that you need to collect them as well, which is brilliant. But like I said, there is hyenas you've got to watch out for. Um, there's Argentus as well, but you'll need flyers by then. And mammoths are a lot better to team now they've had the uh, TLC that they've done with them. There's a door Dickerist. There's quite a few around on that mountain. And there's one of the new striders. Yeah, and a few tech wrecks as well for you to tame. That would be cool. So, yeah, that's my first spot. You can see there it sort of sticks out on the top of that as well, on the top of that ridge. And you've got water, plenty of resources around you. Right, number two is River Rock Expanse again, but this time you'll be spawning in cold water. And it's just a little bit further up uh, the side of the lake. This is quite similar, except this time you're building in like a small valley between two rocky outcrops. But what I liked about this spot is, again, easy access to water, plenty of wood and stone to, to sort of get you started at the beginning. But the rocks on the left and the rocks on the right form like a bit of a wall with a valley in between. And the valley in the middle, the land is completely flat. So it's just a, a nice easy place to start building. Again, you don't you're not gonna need too many defences. Um, it's not too much worse. You've got like Dilophosaurus around. Um, but most of the creatures around there are like your early teams. And you've got some of the new dinos as well. There's a mission hub just to right there. There are also a lot of Pterodon and Maywing spawns around this area as well, so you can get them early on. Right, number three is Lookout Ridge. And this is basically a pre-made base. Um, it's all solid all the way around and with just a small opening at the front. So if you need to wall it off, you know, it'll cost minimum resources to get your base started. Then you can focus more on, um, you know, collecting berries up from Narco and uh, getting your first armor kits and stuff like that. Not that you really need it with the tech suit at the moment, but you know, for game progression. So yeah, it's just on the side of the ridge there, and you're overlooking all the walkways that transfer you over to the next part of the map. Um, you're also not too far away from the tunnels that go over to the other side. You've got plenty of resources around there. The metal's a little bit further away, but. I think with the time and effort you'd save on building a full base to start off with, it's worth it. You can see you've got like wood, um, stone, berries, you've got your first easy tames around there, get yourself a Bronto, um, there's some of the new tames, there's also some um, woolly rhino around there as well. 
which might be good you know to start off with pretty tough animal this is probably one of the safest spots on the map and um, i've actually got the dinos turned up quite high you know for spawning and i've not seen anything around there you know like uh, allosaurus or t-rex raptors nothing like that it's like one of the safest spots pretty much like i said as well it's quite good access to the rest of the map from this point i think so yeah there's another little place you can uh start off at Okay, number four is Summerworth Bay, and you'll start off on the cold water spawn, which is like the closest one in the middle. And the, the, the huge lake that's over this side is sort of central to that, and you're also right in the middle of the land bridges that connect the rest of the map up. So the reason I like this spot was because it's like a small spit of land sticking out into the bay. You can, you've got room to build like maybe a small dock with a couple of rafts on, and rafts are great for going around gathering resources. Also here you've got beaver dams and crystal as well, which I thought was, was good to start off with. Be close to plenty of wood and stone again. And again, it's a very easy spot to start off at. There's no real dinos that are going to come and attack you while you're gathering for your first lot of resources and teams. If you follow this land bridge here to the mountains here on the left, you're going to come across like the other way you sort of progressed up the mountain and you started finding like um, T-Rex and Raptors and stuff like that. It's similar but it doesn't seem as dangerous from what I can tell. But if you carry on around this ridge, um, just to the second ridge there that's sticking out you can see in front of us, there's a metal mold spawn that goes right across the top of that and then down towards the left of the mountain so the metal resource is not too far away. You can see it there just between them two little bits of rock there that sort of starts down below them trees and it goes over the top. There's, that's a good chunk of metal that to gather you know if you gather it all at one time and bring it back so yeah i just thought that was another good spot and the metal nodes aren't showing up very much on the map they've been everywhere to be honest and i've only found like three really decent groups of it but um i might do a resource video see what you guys think so yeah you can just see that little bit of rock sticking out of the water there that's where you'll be living for that one Right, number five, Lookout Ridge. This is huge. It's basically a, a pre-made fortress on, on the Lookout Ridge. You'll need, again, minimal resources to get started. Everything's close by. It's another really safe area. The reason I picked this spot was because the water inside um, can be accessed and you can put crop plots down inside. So I thought that was a great idea. The, the whole length and size of this base could be used to store all your dinosaurs for fighting bosses, all your flyers, you know, breeding, everything can be done in that one place. And outside there, it's even got like pre-made flight bays for your Quetzalatus and different dinosaurs you want. And yeah, um, this could be like somewhere to start off in one corner of the base uh, just while you get going. And then it could be your base for like the, you know, the entire game. You've got so much room inside there. And yeah, it's just like basically a pre-made fortress for you. And even if you wanted to wall off the end, you could do, but I don't really think it'd be needed up here. There's literally nothing can, you know, can get you. I think the only problem you might have if it's on a PvE server, it's a big one, you might get people kiting dinos over there. As for PvP, you know, you're going to have to have uh, tribes on air anyway to sort of get yourself established and look after any base you build. But yeah, I just thought that'd be a great place to start and just stay there, you know, for the, for the whole game, pretty much. You can always make your own improvements, build different buildings inside for different areas and things. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool spot. Push you right next to the tubes that connect up between the asteroid belt and take you over to the other side. So yeah, there's my top five starter base locations, guys. Right, thanks for watching people. Um, I'm going to have a search around for some decent base locations that are going to be more sort of on the side of building a decent base and, you know, some more creative builds and things like that that I'll probably end up building on myself for the channel. Um, I'll have a search around for some decent flat spots as well because them videos always go down quite well. Everyone's always looking for easy places to build. Um, yeah, and just have uh, a good look around the map.
Right, thanks for uh, liking, subscribing, commenting. That's always cool. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.